Welcome to Ohio Wine TV. I'm your host, David McCrary, and this is the exit to a very unique corn maze. I know what you're thinking, a corn maze at a winery, are you kidding me? Listen, you're about to find out that Maze Valley is not your typical winery. The family we credit with this unique experience has roots in agriculture dating back to the 1800s. Everything about this destination celebrates the harvest in a fun, family way. Believe me, you haven't seen anything yet. This is the man behind Mays Valley, Bill Back. And Bill, thanks for having us. Well, you're welcome. Tell me about the pumpkin cannon. I can't, I cannot wait. I'm like a little kid again all of a sudden. This is what we call Marlboro Madness, and this is the one of the ways that we make great wine fun. <laughs> I'm ready to see this. <laughs> Three, Watch two, this. one. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, dude. <laughs> 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 Bill, that was awesome. Hey. That was awesome. That was sweet. Unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that before. Well, we try and uh, raise expectations. <laughs> That's good stuff. Well, listen, you are uh, very family oriented around here. Sure. Besides the pumpkin can, what else you got going on around oh, here? Oh, we have wagon rides, a kid's uh, animal train ride. We have a corn maze out back, which is kind of our anchor. Right. And then new this year, we have the Nass Hog Pig Races. The pig Races? Sure. <laughs> Well, I mean, doesn't everybody? Uh, sure. Oh, sure. Why not? I, 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 all wineries have this, don't they? Well, speaking of that, you just mentioned wineries. We, I got to taste your wines. Oh, yeah. Well, the taster room's this way. Okay. Who's in there to take, take me around there? Oh, my brother-in-law, the winemaker, Todd. Okay. Let's check it out. I'm the king of the world! Todd, this place is awesome. How you doing? Good. Good. I love it. This is nice. Well, the barn's original 1860s. Uh, the timber's virgin timber from the property, and the uh, stones are uh, set in place where they were. Uh, so that's real stone? That's yeah, nice. foot and a half thick sandstone. Wow. Well, this is a great place to try wine. Well, I just happen to have our most popular wine sitting right here on the bar for us. Red, redneck red? You bet. Are you serious? Uh, you bet. Uh, let's try it. Uh, you, okay. <laughs> what kind of wine is this? This is uh, our Concord. Okay. It's a fairly sweet wine, and I, it seems to get along well with uh, most everybody. Okay. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Tastes just like fresh picked grapes. That is good. What? What? Now, what kind of food would you pair that with? You know, uh, burgers, uh, your Reuben, a, a light fare, snack food. See, you, now you're just making me hungry. Oh, that's why a lot of people come here because we've got all the uh, different selections to choose from, and. Uh, you got food here? Oh, you bet. Can we uh, go sneak peek? You bet. Let's go. Wow, something smells good in here. Well, thank you. Oh, is it you? Well, it might be. <laughs> Hi, Michelle, this is David. Hi, David. Hi, Michelle. Nice to meet you. You smell like a delicious sandwich. Well, thank you. That's <laughs> one of the fine things we make here at Mays Valley. We bake our own fresh homemade breads, pies, cookies, all kinds of great things. Really? So, yeah, I'm smelling it. That's, that's just another unique thing about the... Uh, Mays Valley. I mean, you serve lunch and stuff? Oh, yes. All kinds of great food we have here. Wow. Here's another uh, unique feature to Mays Valley. It's our uh, big red pecker. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, Todd. So tell me, I can't believe I'm saying this. Tell me more about your big red pecker. Hmm. We try not to take our wines too seriously here at Mays Valley. So uh, <laughs> we've got uh, big red pecker and all our wines have a little story behind them. See, I thought I thought you were kidding with the name. No, what's, no. So what's the story behind? Well, the legend of big the red pecker. The legend of the uh, big red pecker. He was a, uh, a rooster in the petting zoo. Okay. And uh, and uh, well, he was a big red pecker, and we uh, immortalized him on the on a, a, a bottle of wine. I see that. And uh, all right, it's all downhill from there. Well, let's uh, let's taste this. It's 
good. That's, you know, that's good wine, and I think you guys have nailed a market here. Folks that, that may not drink wine, they're going to buy a bottle of this wine just because of the names. You've showed us the Redneck Red and now yeah. the Big Red Pecker. And I think people will buy that just to have it sitting in their house. Or what other kind of crazy names do you have for these, these wines? Oh, we've got Mad Cow and uh, Hanky Panky, part of the uh, Mays Valley <laughs> family. But not all of our wines have crazy names. Uh, a few of them do have uh, unique ingredients, though. We do some things uh, different here at Mays Valley. Yeah, I've noticed that. We've uh, started making our own fruit wine, done quite well. We've uh, won some awards. So what kind of fruits are you using? Uh, we've got uh, peach and uh, blueberry, cherry, raspberry, uh, strawberry, and, uh, and apple. Apple? Yeah. You got apple wine to taste? You betcha. Let's go. All right. This is our apple wine, David. Okay, I've got a question for you. Apple wine, peach wine, raspberry wine. Is there any grape in it at all? Do you use grape and then add some apple flavor, or is no, it all no. apple? No, our, no, all our uh, fruit wines are made uh, straight from the fruit. So if it okay. says apple, it, it's all apple. Or if it uh, happens to be cherry, it's all cherry. Okay. No uh, artificial flavor was, in our uh, Was that wine. a stupid question? No, we actually okay. get that all the time. It's okay. uh, not too bad, actually. I don't know if I've ever had apple wine. You can smell the apples, which I guess makes sense. Yeah, these are uh, lo locally grown Ohio apples, uh, and I believe these are Fuji's. Okay. That is good. That is real good. Well, thanks. Uh, we've won uh, several awards with our fruit wines in the last few years. We've won uh, Best in Show at the Eastern International with our cherry, and uh, the apples won uh, several gold medals as well. All right. Well, listen, I've had a blast here today from everything that went on outside and that goes on outside on a daily basis to the unusual things we've seen in here. I've just had a blast. Thank you very much for having us. Hey, no problem Appreciate anytime. It. All right. If you're looking for a fun family experience, Mays Valley needs to go on your calendar. This place is a blast and there's something here for everybody. I mean, it's obvious that they thrive on their excellent wines and their great food, but also the fun that they have here. From the corn maze to the pumpkin cannon, which was awesome, I had to go back and check that out again. The car show, it's just the stuff that goes on here all year long. Just get here and have a blast when you do it. For more information, uh, click on the resources below. There's stuff there on Mays Valley and other area attractions. Until next time, I'm David McCrary. Here's a toast to you and great Ohio wines.